Uh, are these 4K right now? Is that 4K? Yeah. Do you mind changing it? Why? Because it's going on my thingy. But I'm editing it. It's on my card. Oh, fine. Okay, fine. Cool. Yeah. That also... Okay, cool. That also what? Nothing. Which means you have control over the start and who... What cuts cut off. No, not me. Okay, cool. Hi, I'm Alex Radcliffe from Board Game Co. And I'm Jesse Anderson from Quackalope. You couldn't think of something funny in time, could you? I couldn't. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, this is going to be a... I was trying. I wasn't ready. This is going to be a Patreon voted on video. I said, hey, I'm with Jesse this week, and we're doing a bunch of videos, and here's a bunch of topics you can pick from in terms of things Jesse can say. And oh, and if you're not familiar, this guy over here has a Patreon. Oh, that's a fair it's point. It's yes. how he feeds the four children that he has in his house, that and the other three jobs that he currently runs. If you want him to continue doing Board Game Co. more and more full-time, if you appreciate the weekly, daily, multi-times-a-day content that he puts out, and... If you want weekly updates on what he's producing, and are you still doing the series where you rip apart Kickstarters? If you'd like a series to tell you not to back certain things called, I believe, Unfair and Unbalanced, you might want to go check his Patreon out. I don't like selling myself, so I appreciate that. Thank you. That yeah, was I don't helpful. like selling you either. Oh, that was helpful. <laughs> but <laughs> but anyways, I, want, I want you to work more. <laughs> so the short version of this is, first of all, these games on the table may or may not have anything to do with the actual video, because here's the topic of the video. The topic of the video is, from Quackalope's standpoint, from Jesse's standpoint, top 10 games that I'm wrong about. Huh? Top 10 games that I'm wrong about. we disagree on. That we disagree on. Whatever you want to call it, however you want to define it, that's the general topic. Well, that's how I defined it. And I grabbed a few games because I want to be surprised, okay. so I don't want the actual games on the table, so I can actually debate them as they come up, but I do want something on the table so it doesn't look completely empty, so I grabbed, well, I grabbed Zombicide because once upon a time he did ten, top 10 worst games in Board Game Coast Collection. Dude. Zombicide Dude. was on there. That video was received well. Beautifully. I put a Terrifying Mars on the table. I think I'm still getting hate messages from that video. I have One at Ultimate Werewolf, which he bought last time, Maze that we brought last time, QB which I know that you don't love quite as much as I do that may or may not be on this list I don't know and then of course nemesis just to remind you at the end of the day He's really the one who's wrong and that basically the the games on the table nothing to do with the video or maybe we'll see We will see so if you have watched the five top ten worst games in board game Coast collection Yes I tried to structure the structure this list so that it wasn't just a straight repeat of that this Because it's not as fun if it it's is not as much fun and so the way I've approached this and I think you might, you might be, your games on the table may not have factored this in. We're doing a mix. Some games I think of better than you, some games I think of worse. To be fair, the games you think of as better than me, I probably don't own. Uh, Ooh, spicy. Let's start with the first game on my list, which is going to be a game that's on the succulent little shelf you have over here on the corner, which is the I'm getting rid of shelf. That is the I'm getting rid of shelf. Which means you're not going to own it very soon. Architects of the West Kingdom. I do not love that game. Yeah. You do? Oh, it's lovely. Oh, really? It's very lovely. I mean, to be fair... What do you have it? Were you have it like a three? It's a three. I'm fine with it. Okay. I like it. I will yeah. play it if you ask. But it... I, and I've said this before. I've said this multiple times before. Yeah. I am happy to give a game... and Say a game is not great. It's It's got issues. It's got critiques. It's got whatever. When when a game... When, when a designer... When Sam Phillips has three games okay. in the top 100 and none of them resonate with me past being okay experiences... I think I'm wrong. So you're the first one you're admitting. Yeah, you're just I'm wrong. conceding. Architects of the West Kingdom is one of the is it's the first Shem Phillips games yes. that I've played. I love the series, the artwork. I own Paladins. Great artwork. I own I mean I'm ready to play into a lot of them. I saw you're getting rid of Raiders as well. Yes. I have it would be it. better than Raiders of the North Sea. I haven't played it yet. It is better than Raiders of the North Sea. Still, <laughs> Still not, not keeping for you. it. Listen, the worker placement and decision making in Architects where you're doing your very best to like subtly build up this resource pool to keep generating additional resources and hoping that people aren't going to like go to the black market or trigger a raid or send you to prison. It's really nice. The interplay between the players on the table, it's really lovely for a euro or a worker placement. If you say so. Does it what does it not do for you? I think they're all fine. Every one of his games. I have Viscounts, I haven't played Viscounts. I want to Every one of his games past Viscounts, which I haven't played. Yeah. And I do have uh, Hadrian's Wall, which I just got, which I'm really excited okay. for. Okay. Different series, Roll and Write, that looks beyond intimidating. But uh, Architects, Paladins, Raiders, they are fairly procedural in what they do. They don't make me excited to do the next combo, the next thingy. They have cards that, uh, they have, every one of them has like cards that augment your engine, but like in tiny sure. ways that don't feel like uh, cool. They're like, okay, I get plus one guy when I do this. Doesn't, I mean, it doesn't, it's, it's, it's a 
classic approach to worker placement with a nice twist on that worker placement mechanic. Do you like worker placement games? I love Do you like placement. Euros? I love Euros. I mean, it just doesn't hit. It doesn't hit. It's I not love a, it's, Art by the look, Mitchell. It's not a perfect game to me, but I like it more than you. I'm Clearly. not getting rid of it. Oh, I, I, again, if you want to play these games with me, I will play them. I think they are yeah. good. They do not excite me. <sighs> yeah. yeah. I, I'm wrong. I'm okay. clearly wrong. I, I, I'm feeling unsatisfied with this video already. I'm not going to argue with you on this. And I'm it's, wrong. And it's because we're going to talk about games we're just not going to come to terms on. That's okay. The second one. I'm curious if you've played this one. I saw it on your shelf. Smartphone Inc. I haven't played it. What? What is wrong with you? You bought that last time. And I hadn't played it that time either. It's been months. So what? It's been months upon months. Okay, you don't like that game, right? I don't like the game. I haven't played that game. Yeah, twice so I, now. So I can't, I can't, I can't judge it. I suppose we might like it the same because I also haven't played it over the last few months, and clearly neither of you. We pr I haven't played it at all. Ever. Maybe, maybe, we, we're, maybe we're balanced on that one. We probably have like a good fifteen more minutes or so for you to try to rapidly come up with a replacement while I argue against you. Because that you brought that last time, and I still haven't played it. Oh, for me to come up with yeah, a replacement you. while you argue against yeah. me. Interesting. Okay. Um, 15 minutes. You I'll got 15 continue, minutes. I'll continue thinking. Uh, the next on this list that we disagree with. Now, this one's going to be subtle, but we do disagree. Merchant's Cove. Oh, that's a good one. Uh-huh. That's a good We're one. We're right on the edge. Yes. We're right on the edge. I think you're, what, a three leaning towards a four? No, I'm a four. I'm a straight up four. You're a four? I enjoy... So, uh, here's where my... my well, thought. then we disagree more than 100%. I thought. 100% we disagree. Merchant's Cove is a four with the caveat that... As I continue to play it, as I get 10 plays in and try every character and go through okay. the merchant stash, I am fully prepared for the possibility that I lose interest in it once I feel I've explored the game. Uh -huh. But I don't yet feel like I've explored the game. I, I The characters, I haven't played with the expansion characters yet. I've played with the base game characters. I have not played with the expansion characters. I have not tried the stash, the secret stash, which gives even more augments to the game, more ways to develop it. There's a lot of content in that game I haven't explored, and I do enjoy the puzzle. My biggest critique or credence to your opinion is I don't feel it's a particularly deep or strategic puzzle, but it's different every time I play it, and that's enough for me for right I've now. I've played three times now. Yes. I'm satisfied not. You're just satisfied not playing again. Yeah. I'm okay. I got I'm, the, the puzzle is exhausting itself. I think I'd like to try the expansions and any modules and I can to make it a little bit messier. So maybe I'll pull up the stash and see if I can convince you. I would. Because... I'm interested. I, I, I will give it another play with you, but I'm pulling teeth to get there. Sure. I, I can. I think it's reasonable. I don't think it's a strong. I don't think it's a wrong opinion. I yeah. think that Merchant's Cove, especially if you're expecting something else, may not be the game for you. It is lighter in terms of the interaction, which yep. for me makes it more accessible. Yeah. Like I was worried to be hard to teach, hard to explain, hard to table. I like it. I do not know how I feel about it once I've gone through all the content once. I think I'm still down for more plays, mm -hmm. but for right now, it's a strong four. Could go down, but right now it's a four. Yeah, it's a it's a three for me. Yeah. It's a solid really three. Really enjoy it, and it's, it's not it's not leaning in yeah. another direction. Inish. Delightful. Oh, you didn't like Inish at all. Oh, subpar. Subpar. I didn't find I didn't find the card play interesting. It definitely the drafting or the card play wasn't anywhere near as good as other alternatives we have, sure. Blood Rage being the obvious example. And the on on the on the table you said I didn't have a, the perfect experience with it. You the game that we had. I would play it again. I don't think I'm getting near your score though. It is a staple in your collection, right? Absolutely. It's, it's like, like granted, you three. did just get rid of it. I didn't get rid of it. Didn't you? Inish? Isn't there a new copy coming out or something? No. What's the one that has a new copy coming out? Kemet. Ah, that's Kemet. the one. That's Kemet. the one. Uh, yeah, I I haven't played Kemet yet. Oh, you should play Kemet. Inish didn't do it for me. It just didn't do it for me. It, it, so I understand why Inish wouldn't for someone. For me, so here's what is true. I think, so Inish, Sakatis, and Kemet are going to be a trilogy of games that I have for a long time ranked Inish as the highest of that trilogy. Okay. I think Cyclades is moving up. Inish is not moving down, but every time I play Cyclades, I enjoy it again, and I enjoy it more, and I want to continue trying the modules. They're also coming with another version of that, too, I believe. Not by Madago, sadly, but we'll see. Yep. But Cyclades is moving up, and I wonder if Cyclades is replacing Inish. When I do my mm. top 50, top 100 games this year, it's going to be fun to see. There's been some shakeups. But I really like the puzzle that is Inish. I really like the elegance, the simplicity, the core three ways of winning. It's not as exciting as Cyclades. It's not as exciting as Kemet. It doesn't yeah. have as much powers, abilities, or augments around the game. But its simplicity and elegance is beautiful. Which is weird, because it's that's the rare terms I hear you compliment a game around. Yeah. not it's, I don't love the art or the aesthetic. I'm saying those... But, that type of design is a rare thing that I've heard you appreciate, yes. whereas you usually lean more towards powers, powers abilities. abilities, scaling, escalation. Yep. So it's it's I understand the adoration for it. Oh yes. I, however, every 
nearly, nearly every single area control with some other unique mechanic game that I play pushes that one down a little bit farther. A little bit farther. I hear. Everyone. I hear. Next game. I'm curious if you've played this one. It is not on your I Haven't Played if shelf. You, if, this, if this is a video from last... Is this a game you played last time? We're going to have a problem. Yeah. Uh, Barrage. I don't think... I haven't played it. It's right here. I know it's right there. I haven't played it. I need to play it. I'm hoping Jen will teach it to me. Or maybe you'll teach it to me. I don't know. Yeah. I have not played it, though, unfortunately. <sighs> Disappointing. Yeah. Uh, my theory was, my prediction was, you were going to like Barrage more than me. Jan adores it. Yes. I think partially because I don't like it. It's a heavy game. Out of spite, he likes it. Mm. It, it is an interesting game with the way that your water's flowing down this hillside, Cascading you're filling down. up dams, it's this escalation of like someone can cut you off to steal points from you. I think you're really going to like the puzzle that it presents. I'm open to playing it again. It even has a neat resource rondelle system with like generating like and stuff. Yeah, it, it feels like a water wheel that's spinning. It just it just didn't click for me. I hear you. My theory is you're gonna like it more than me, which is a good sign for you. It's a good it's a good prediction. Uh, listen, Jan and I do often align on taste. Not always, but often. Uh, now I though I need to I feel like I need to fill the slot with another no, one. We'll no, keep, no, no. We'll keep thinking uh, through. The other one you brought up last time. You should have checked with me first. Parks. Do you do you think you like parks more than me? I think I do. You don't like parks more than me. No. No. How much do you like parks? It's a five. Yeah? It's not even remotely a question. It's a five. It's flat amazing. out, no flat question. Flat out, five. Well, no, no, that's fair. It was initially a four. Uh, okay. I do track. So when I rate games, I track. I do track their initial. I don't track their full progress over time. I track their initial ranking and I track their current ranking. Mm -hmm. Parks, when I first played it, my very first play was already a four. I thought it was delightful. I thought it was cutthroat. Yeah. It was mean. I don't care about the art the way you do. I think it looks oh, nice. I, love the art. I think it looks nice. I have no complaints. I was skeptical of the game because of the art. I was skeptical of the game because I read the rules and I was like, I don't understand the game. I don't understand why this is anything more than a simple like movement game that's nothing interesting. The mm -hmm. abilities, the equipment, none of the stuff looked interesting enough to be a good game. But it's cutthroat. Yeah, I appreciate the game when it's being played. Have you played with Nightfall yet? I own Nightfall. I have not played it yet. It's lovely. Oh, I Park screwed a five for me very quickly. Okay, like initially it was a four. It got a few games in as a four, but the more I play it, the more it continued to grow. I like it at three. I like it at four. I don't think I played it at two yet. I don't think it's I've tried it at two. two. It's good at two. So, yeah, it it is one of my go to if I'm going to introduce someone to the hobby. Yeah, it's a bite size, teach quickly, play in thirty minutes, two player head to head. It really is. That's where I yeah. function on it the most. Three and four, I, I've really enjoyed. I've played more copies of that game with a brand new player at two player than most of the other games in my collection. Have you played Trails yet? Uh, I watch someone play Trails. Mm, close enough. Close watch enough. someone play. I know quite. Trails. Trails exist, so we're basically in the same wavelength. Yeah. It's true. Uh. Maybe we like it equally. It was it was a I it was a risky parks. guess. It was a risky guess on there. I thought you had it at a four, and I was no. going to come in swinging, saying that it was at least a high four, if not a five. Parks was top fifty for me. I yeah. think I have roughly fifty fives, which means top fifty. I think I had like forty fives when I did my list mm -hmm. last year. It's probably over fifty now. But I, that, if a top, anything top fifty for me is is solid. Cool. Let's have fun. Let's pull over. Uh, you was got right? you got one of them right? on it. Cubitos. The worst version of Quacks of Quedlinburg. I thought you had that opinion. <laughs> I thought you had that opinion. Cubitos. I can't do it. I can't do this one. What do you mean you can't do it? I don't know why you and Jan and, and other humans like it. So, it's interesting to me. So, Cubitos is... For, uh, I like Cubitos better than Quacks. We did a play this, not that on this. I like Quacks a lot. I like Cubitos a lot. Uh, keep in mind, I have not played Quacks with the Herb Witch's expansion, so who knows? That can mix things up. Adds, it was close. Adds a bit more variability. And that could be enough. Yeah. The games are close to me. And have you played it with the upgraded components? Yes, of course. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, I, mean, I mean, we have standards. No, components to components, I did give Quacks the win. Okay. I Absolutely. I think, uh, well, when you upgrade them. Once you upgrade the components, uh, Quacks has the win. Cubitos it doesn't have as cool. It could be upgraded. Could get, who knows what kind of deluxe stuff we can get. Get, get. I know they have expansions coming. I'm already excited for the more characters, more variability, more maps. I just don't. I don't like the dice rolling. I don't think the possible upgrades are as interesting as Quacks are. I don't think the puzzle, the the pressure luck, doesn't feel as rewarding as Quacks does. I like the I like the abilities more in Kibitos. I like the interaction of the abilities more in Kibitos. Oh. I like the push your luck more in Kibitos. What are you even talking about? I, I feel more in control when I push my luck in Kibitos than I do in Quacks. Are you kidding now, me? Now the You're, tension, I mean... the tension of Quacks is higher. The tension of, of pulling something from your bag and getting that last moment bust, that's higher. But that's partially because so I don't have the control. the best moments of quacks are better. Mm, I mean, the best moments of quacks are better than the the, the not best moments of Kibitos. Is that your argument? No, the best moments of both games 
Quacks is better. No, Quacks board. has some wins, but overall, Kubitos is my preferred game. Ah, uh, well, I'm glad I got that one right. Yes, <laughs> I pulled it. I was walking past my show and satisfied with this conversation, though. and I was like, Kubitos. I was like, he doesn't love that one. I remember no. that. No, next on my list, uh, I have no idea where you stand on this one, but I'm 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 going for a swing. Is what? this top ten games? Crackle was just guessing no. at. No, well, to some degree, because I didn't want to run them by. I didn't want to run all these by you before uh -huh, I was doing. That's fair. It. That's reasonable. So I'm going for what I think I disagree. You could have with asked Shira. She's played like almost everything I played. Catan. I mean, I don't know where you're going on this one. Do you? What's think... your opinion of Catan? I think Catan is an enjoyable game that I will never turn down. Catan is a game that when I first played it introduced me, it literally opened my eyes to concepts and atmospheres and, and ways of gaming that I had never mm -hmm. before thought mm -hmm. of or could interest myself in or anything. So we both have nostalgia for it. But Catan doesn't hold up anymore. It's it's a amazing introductory experience. It's a game that I can easily recommend to anyone, but at its core, Catan is pick a bunch of places and then go through mostly procedural decisions and roll yeah. a lot of dice. It is still such a holiday family favorite for me that Catan, okay. Catan just... I have more fun going home and playing with my aunt and uncle on this game. We'll, we'll, go, we'll go three games in an evening to 2 a.m., cutthroat on Catan... I, I I'm biased. I I don't disagree with you that yeah. it doesn't necessarily hold up to the like longevity of the of the game industry, but for me, it just holds it just holds a special place. I don't disagree. I eventually got rid of it. It's no longer my collection. I held onto it for a long time. Yep. But any time, anywhere, someone wants to play Catan with me, I will ask to play with Cities and Knights if you have it. I do prefer it a lot more with Cities and Knights. Okay. Past that, any expansions, modules, the more you can do to keep it interesting, the better. Are you but ever are you ever actively seeking out to play it? I don't think so. Because when I go home, I hope we play Catan. I, I will always happily play Catan. The combination of being a good, solid core game and the nostalgia and introduction to the hobby means sure. I will be more willing to play Catan than a lot of other games that I've yep. gotten rid of and think are better. The combination do provide a nice mix. And, like, you know how they have those, like, you know, like, you know, you have those giant chess sets or whatever yep. it is. I'd love to play, like, some, I don't even know if this exists. I'd love to play, like, a giant convention version my, of Catan where players are, like, My houses. family has, my, my, my aunt and uncle, who we played with, who introduced me to yeah. it originally, they have the, like, couple hundred dollar wooden no, upgrade. No, I mean, like, I know, I hear what you're saying. I hear the massive version okay. you're saying. But I'm saying, like, we have a deluxified, we've spent way too much money on this. Uh, with a with a my uncle was Secret Service. Yeah. So they have a black briefcase like the like the uh, nuclear bomb missile with like, handcuffs attached to it to carry their game of Catan around in. I want some sort of overarching overlord like marching people around, sending <laughs> like Tom Tom Vassal you, walk walk there. two over the ear. You're my knight. You're knocking him out. I want like a Harry <laughs> Jesse, Potter version. Catch that sheep. Yeah. <laughs> Just like have like you know Harry Potter and like Hermione Ron and and the Harry playing chess. Yeah. I want like that with Catan. We can so, do that. So that was one. It seems like the ones that I'm positive on have been harder to negotiate the difference. Because yeah. I'm, I'm also judging your collection. That's fair. I'm pulling games from Close your enough. collection too. Either way. Either way. Let's keep going here. Rising Sun. What do you think I'm wrong about? I think I don't like Rising Sun more than you. I, I think you like it more than me. Okay. So Rising Sun. Let's give context here. Yeah. Rising Sun is a four to five for me. I think Rising Sun is an amazing experience, but it doesn't. It gives me the exact same feeling Blood Rage does. I know there are differences. I know people will pitch. I've done a whole video play that's not that with Blood Rage and Rising Sun. Yep. I know people will pitch why they feel different. To me, they have differences that I can point to, but they evoke the same feeling, the same reason. And every time I played Rising Sun, while I think it's excellent, while I enjoy it, I walk away from every game thinking I would have rather spent that time playing yeah. Blood Rage. So you're not 100% sold on it. I got rid of it. I mean, I'm less sold on it. Okay. I actively didn't enjoy the the first oh, the gameplay. It's I a had great game. I, I didn't enjoy it. Why? Not? What about it? It's more. It for me, it was more area control focused than the other things. What I like about Blood Rage is drafting. I do not care Granted. about area control. I don't. I don't. I know, but a, Rising Sun also has monsters. It has abilities. I it has alliances. I understand it has monsters and abilities and alliances. As clever combat. I I it didn't sell it for me. So I agree with it you on the click. area control aspect. It was uh, more but... focused on the area control. For me, it was more focused on the area control than it was on some other side mechanic. And so I I actively don't want to play it. I I, I hear on the more focus, I, I think there are enough external aspects. I wonder how your game went. 
I'm not trying probably, to probably poorly. <laughs> I'm not trying to sell you on this game. No, it's the game, game actually went from. really well. It's where I met Eric Roos, who oh. is the designer of Spirit Island. We played together for the very first time, and then you know, hung out, and you know, it, yeah. was, it was a good, it was a good event. No, I'm not looking not to sell you game. on it, but it, I, 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 I think that the slider here is just not as far as you think in terms of area control dominated. This is a hard list to do, especially okay. if I'm trying to get rid of you know, not do the listen, listen, Meadow. Oh, we definitely don't agree on Meadow. <laughs> we definitely don't agree on Meadow. I think Meadow it's is... It's lovely. It, Meadow is going to be an action selection uh, tableau building where you're walking through a park doing your best to collect cards that sequence and chain off of each other until you get to the end game, which is sort of a point salad-esque scoring, right? Get as many points and be as efficient as possible over the course of about 60 minutes. You didn't like it at all. If I yawn, it's because I'm, it's late. It's late. Nothing to do with Meadow. Oh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. No, I, I, I think Meadow... Listen, I think everyone, first of all, for context here, everyone else who played Metal liked it to varying degrees, but all of them liked it more than I did. All of them liked it more than I did. So, yeah. it's not that it's a bad game. It is very much that I... I didn't... I, I felt like Metal was a game that... There's a few critiques. First of all is, I don't love the art to begin with. Okay. And nature in general is always hit or miss. To me, it depends okay. on the art. Nature in general does not sell me. Like Beth Sobel, who's an amazing artist everyone loves, I her art style doesn't resonate with me. Versus there are other artists who do, like, plant life and stuff that do. So mm -hmm. it's in, it's like, Parks already. I mentioned mm -hmm. I don't love it as much as you do in terms of art, but I do like it. But I would say Meadow had a combination of art and theme that did not appeal to me. It had this journal that you're, like, p selling me on. I'm like, look, I can show you the first time I saw this flower. I'm like, yeah. I don't care. That's not, I'm not having to play a game. I want mechanics, not, like, a journal to diary when I've seen that bug in ant life. But uh, plant life, ant life, whatever. <laughs> I mean, ants are also. Ants are, are, yeah, exactly. But And then combine that with gameplay that I felt like Meadow was constantly encouraging me to build up a tableau, but the nature of the tableau you're building mostly, not exclusively, mostly involves you covering the symbols you just earned, so it has this feeling of tableau building without actually building you're, that you're, much of a tableau. You're building, you're building wide and tall and covering, but the covering is to sequence to higher end creatures because yeah. you need, you start with planes, you add a bug, you need to add a bird on top of the bug, the bird attracts, you know, a weasel, the weasel then attracts a fox. Like, it's that growth of, of what you're observing. You're going from something small and minute and watching as the ecosystem expands. I hear you. I felt it was <sighs> telling me that I was building a tableau while really just having me replace things in a tableau, and that didn't feel rewarding gameplay-wise. My catch-up, my replacement games, sure. my think of them while we're filming this video. Listen, you've had time. Wingspan and Everdell. Oh, we already disagree on these. We to already a disagree it's a on good, these. It's a cute little cute It's a cute thing. little callback, right? It's a yes. cute little... Uh, you got rid of Wingspan after Eventually. you got it again. Eventually, yes. You got rid of it once, got it back because we were advocating for it, played it, and decided, no, no, no I wasn't no. So I You got, didn't even play it? I got, no, I got rid of Wingspan initially because, and there are a few games. In fact, Quacks is actually one of these games. There are, there always are, and Everdell for that matter too. There are games I get, I play them, I don't see the hype, I don't see the buzz, I get rid of them. Most of those I never think about again. Most of them. Okay. But then every once in a while, I have second thoughts. I have doubts. I question myself. Maybe when, things continue to go up in the rankings. Wingspan wins every award yes, in the book. It happens. There are because there are games that are flashing the pan. There are games that are like everyone's talking about it for six months, and then people stop ever mentioning it again. Sure. But then some games they keep on being talked about, and so the combination of my own thoughts about the game, my own self doubt, my own seeing people continuously talk about it and wondering whether I was sure. wrong, has meant that there are games I've gotten back. I got rid of Istanbul. I got it back. I, I still have it. I got rid of Evidel. I got it back. I yep. still have it. I got rid of Rajas of the Ganges, Quacks of Quedlinburg. Quedlinburg got them both back. I have them. Wingspan was a game when I first played it. I thought it was okay. I did not see the hype. I got it back after I got Evidel back. I was like, well, if I like Evidel and they're both being compared, I want to try Wingspan. And this time I kept it for a year and a half. But at the end of the day, while I did see the promise again, while yeah. I did enjoy it, unlike Rajas, Istanbul, Quacks, and Everdell, nobody asked to play Wingspan. Sure. It's a good game, and everyone enjoyed it when it was played. But not once in that year and a half did anyone ask to play it. I would have I asked introduced to it to new play. players. I would have asked you to play Wingspan. Well, then I'll get it back. I would have. Well, I, I, own it. I own it. Oh, that's cool. That's nice house. Wingspan's lovely. It's quite lovely, and you're not disagreeing with me on that. I, I think the crux of our disagreement is both going to come down to our ranking between the two yes. games. And then also, I still own Wingspan. I still want expansions for Wingspan. Wingspan. I still want to play Wingspan. I've downloaded the app for Wingspan that allows you to hear all the bird sounds. Oh, I thought you meant like app. Is there an actual app There's game? actually an app game as I well, which that. I might do coverage of as well. I play that solo. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just such a lovely game. I'm biased on behalf of the birds, but I also think just the thought process and the play and the way you're sequencing, it's the most, it's one of the most accessible little engines that allows me to feel like I have an engine that's completing itself. 
that continues to spin. I, I Everdell. Hear- I get less interested in every version of Everdell I play. Listen, let me finish my sentence before that jaw opens. Every I get less interested in every version of Everdell I play as I add more mechanics. For instance, I played base game. Base game was fantastic. I added Pearl Brook. I never played base game without Pearl Brook again. Oh, okay. I then played base game Pearl Brook with Spire's Crest. I then never played. I I, I didn't always include the like limited module sure. board. But I never went backwards. I've now played Everdell against the rulebook's advice with every single module in play. That is now my favorite way to play the game, hands down, without okay. a doubt. Okay. And I never get it to the table anymore because I don't want to play other versions of it. It is best, bigger, and messier. It is fantastic. It is amazing. I'm not disagreeing there. I'm disagreeing with the fact that, like, you'll sit down and play base game, period, and enjoy the heck out of it. I don't want to do that. I mean, first of all, I don't disagree with you on the, the linear progression. Yeah. I did introduce, finally, when they had that most recent expansion, I finally, like, for their Kickstarter, I got yep. an expansion, I played with it. I don't want to play base Everdell again, either. <gasps> no, 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 but not like I you. Agree. Not Not as strong, not as, oh. not as strong as you. <laughs> I would play Wingspan, uh, Everdell, base Everdell again, but I definitely agree that the expansions added the content, yeah. and I do worry about the messiness of it, because I do have, like, one of the many video topics I plan on getting into is games that the expansions stopped me from playing the base game ever again. Like the expansions made it harder. To it's get to done the table. that. It's done that. Yeah. Everdell because I like it with the expansion so much more than back before. I now don't table it because it is not only frustrating to try to teach anyone it. It's just a whole chore to set up. I got four boxes to unpack and cards to organize and sort, and I got to teach people four different modules to it. It's an amazing game. I'm not tabling it anymore, mm, which is I disappointing to me. I think it's reasonable. I think base Everdell is still fun. I'll play Wingspan more often than I'll play Everdell. And you don't own Wingspan anymore. That's clearly so true. So where's our friendship going? Down. <laughs> down. <laughs> this has been a very interesting, kind of unsatisfactory video. Cause, I enjoy it. We, well, we, but we knew going into it, like, part of me wants to engage and be like, we disagree, now let's agree. And that's not the point. No, the point is, the the point is we disagree, let's leave it as we disagree. It's just to go into the wrongs, yeah. the rights, the what it is, because it's fascinating, just the very nature of putting out videos on games, or reviewing games, or putting out lists, is yep. you're, you're imposing your opinion on the world to a degree, and yeah. there are many who are like, well, no, I just watch your gameplays, because I want to see how it played, and I'll make my own opinion, that's great. But there are people who are influenced by opinions of any yeah. content creator, and I think I think it's interesting to the fact that, like again, like I think that the your first pick, Architects of the West Kingdom, I think it's a great example it's a, it's a game that I'm so clearly in the minority on. Yeah. And another list I have planned, another list I, I still keep developing slowly as I add titles to it, is game, uh, un- underrated games. And I don't believe in the concept of overrated, underrated, different conversation, but the idea that there's a good list of games that are like a 7 on Board Game Geek, a mediocre game that to me are like 4s and 5s, the, the games, best games. Yeah. And like Sometimes you know, are... It's weird when you compare the 10 rating scale to yeah, your 5 rating scale. <laughs> Sometimes, that's a good point. It's so, a seven, but for me it's, it's a four. five, and I don't understand why they can't come to terms with it. Sometimes our opinions are going to be out of yeah. alignment with the general opinion. That's what overrated and underrated generally means. It means that I feel different than the general masses of people. Yeah. And it's interesting. It's just an interesting conversation to have. Yeah. Well. That's been a, a list, a video, and don't forget, Crackles doesn't think Nemesis I, is a game. Um, I think whenever you come down, we're going to possibly counter it with your version against me. Mm, whenever I'll, you make it to me. I'll have to research mine a bit more. Cause, I'm curious. I mean, I did cover... I did say this war of mine. I have to play that at some point. Yeah, but that's on the list of... Yes. That's the hard part. Yes. Yeah. Different lists. Whatever, Patreon. Case, thanks for picking a video. Let us know what you'd like to do next time. First oh, play of Kingdom list. Death with Board Game Co.? Probably going to happen one of these days. Whatever the case, remember to do the important thing. Well, get out, get out and, and play, play some, some games. games. It's on my channel. We'll see you next time. Thanks. Cool. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's have a good one.